What's up everyone, this is Sephire and I'm joined by Dell and we are bringing you a special match here. We've got a 2 vs 2 and I know I don't cast anywhere near enough 2 vs 2s. There are some people like, where are the 2 vs 2s? So here you go, here's a all SEA server 2 vs 2 and we've got none other than KJH playing as Terran and his partner is Mujahideen. I know I've got that wrong. He's known as Guck, so we're just going to call him Guck. He's most famous for being called Guck. So it's Mujahideen, but he's, we're just going to call him Guck for this cast. And he's up against Edge, who's one of the up-and-comers, and his uh, teammate Spider. So what can you tell us about these players, Death? Um, Del, sorry. <laughs> but uh, we can say KJH and Guck are very well-known Australian StarCraft 1 players. Probably two of the best, maybe in the top three, top five StarCraft 1 players from Australia of all time. So that's a, a very uh, potent combination there. And uh, Edge, uh, as we said in a previous cast, he's a StarCraft 1 player as well. Not quite at the level of the other two, but he was still good in his own right. Spidezor, I can't tell you much about, to be honest, but I know he does quite a few uh, two vs twos with edge so they should make a pretty potent combination yeah i know i'm going to get youtube hate mail about calling Dell death i'm sorry about that but yet yeah, the thing about twilight fortress is it has this communal choke and it's so close to your expansion and your natural is basically within breathing distance of your main so it really really favors these wall-ins and people turtle and go straight to carriers and battle cruisers and all kinds of crazy stuff i really hope that gut goes straight to mothership because that would just make me happy. Looking like Spider, I'm just going to call him Spider instead of Spidezor, but looking like Spider is trying to harass there, just trying to slow that wall down, but KJH is not having a bar of it. Really nice timing, as you'd expect from a player like KJH, denying this SCV, even going to take it out with his FECVs if uh, Spider's not too careful there. And KJH just walling in with a second barracks, while we are seeing uh, Edge and... Uh, Spider playing a little bit uh, more aggressive there, throwing down that proxy, and we could be seeing, yes we are, Proxy Reaper almost coming out there, as well as uh, Zerglings on the way already, so this is going to be some super early pressure that Gark and KJH are going to do with. This is a fairly common strategy in 2 vs 2, doing the Proxy Reaper, especially on this match, can be really, really deadly, so he's got to be careful not to lose too much as we see Spider's Reaper getting in the base there, going to take out one probe, and now it's up to... KJH and Guck to react, this Zealot is not going to be do- Oh, almost getting surrounded by Guck's probes, he's got to be careful, cannot lose this Reaper, he really needs to do a lot of, a lot of damage and slow them down. As we see, the Scrum splitting up, is he going to make it out? He does cliff jump just in time, and Guck even leaving uh, his uh, probes there for a little bit, but these Marines are coming in to try and join the Denial Party, more Reapers coming in, as we see these Zerglings running into KJH's base, KJH retreating to his SCV line, bringing in Marines, Lots of craziness going on in the early part of this game. Yeah, I'm not uh, not quite sure how Edge's links uh, crept in there. The, they do have a wall off, but these Reapers definitely going to town on all these SCVs. He's going to lose a lot of SCVs if these uh, Reapers are microed correctly. Even these Zealots don't really stand a chance. Yeah, this is a bad, bad situation for KJ Hitch and Guck. All this time that this is going on, despite the fact that uh, Spider's basically hurt himself by going Reapers this early, as well as those super fast links from Edge. But right now, lots and lots of kills right now. Four kills on Ryan Reaper, seven kills on the next. Even trying to work on this uh, SCV building the barracks. He even taking out the Marines here. This is really, really bad news. More SCVs going down for KJH, losing two more. He's really bad here from Spider, who's even sending in more Reapers, producing at this proxy, starting to work on this line. KJH is in really, really bad shape, losing so much of his economy to this Reaper harassment, while we see Edge, meanwhile, taking his uh, natural, looking to macro up uh, a little bit there. No lair tech yet, so interesting to find out whether... Edge is going to commit to uh, this build and really getting his speedlings online there, whether he's going to go two base speedling or trying to tech into Mutas as he gets a, another geyser online here, but his Reaper harassment has been super, super effective so far for Spider. I was really impressed with Spider's control. It uh, takes a lot to out-micro guys like this from StarCraft 1, but he did really well, and uh, it did buy Edge the time to expand, and he's throwing down two more barracks, that's Spider that is, and uh, yeah, we're up into a macro game, which is, you know, more typical for this map. 
Yeah, good scan timing coming up there from KJH, picking up this lair tech, realizing what this was a cover for. And you will often see this in 2vs2 partnerships, the Reaper or the proxy harassment will come off and then it's basically like a shield while your partner macros up and goes into full economy mode. Because right now, you really got to be careful, this pylon is supporting so many structures right now. I would not be surprised to see Spider try and get this pylon down as he does, sending the grenades on to that pylon. You cannot lose that pylon, it's powering so much of his infrastructure, throwing a force field down to try and work on this sentry. Nice control by Spider, picking off that sentry in two hits basically there, although a couple of stalkers coming in with that warp gate technology. So really crucial defense there from Gark. He really needs to think about throwing down a second pylon in case another sneaky reaper harassment goes on. But now KJH adding enough of this, pushing out a bunch of speedlings though from Edge coming into play, working on these marines. And KJH's marines going to be thrown down. More marines streaming in to reinforce, but these speedlings are just on top of it. Meanwhile, we would expect to see them try and get rid of this proxy barracks, but right now Edge is just cleaning up, and the important thing from uh, Edge and uh, Spider's point of view is the fact that now they've got KJH and Gark in defensive mentality. Oh no, these feelings walking into the base, bit of a mistake by KJH, not uh, raising the ramp there, although he was running into a pretty big mix of units, so Edge wisely chooses not to get his Zerglings locked in, but he could have done some runaround harassment there and slowed them down even more but obviously worried about how aggressive KJH was and he was pushing pushing out. So, interesting to find out uh, what KJH and Guck are going to do from here to try and take the lead back in this game. I think they definitely have the uh, army advantage right now, but with this uh, extra base from Edge, it's going to be a, a long haul back. They look like they're coming out to do a bit of a counter-attack, perhaps. They know the, uh, the Zergling numbers now, so they're pretty confident that they can do a bit of damage here. He's got these forward pylons that he can warp into, a lot of barracks up for KJH, and he's definitely uh, moving out now. Yeah, this is going to be interesting to see uh, how Edge and Spider are going to be able to defend against this, desperately pulling units back, trying to get in position to defend this. and. The thing that to remember is though, on Twilight Fortress, even though this counterattack is in a pretty good, good shape, really good unit composition for Guck, especially he's going if he's going to be able to shield these Marines. But it's just so, so long to get to your opponent's base, and Edge has been able to put spine crawlers there, which is going to be hugely, hugely beneficial, especially with no Marauders in this mix, which is what you need to get rid of these spine crawlers. The Queen, got to be careful there, Edge. You do not want to lose your Queen. But we are seeing Stim burned on these Marauders, and really denies this expansion. Although at what cost though, because Guck and KJH now basically have map control if they choose to take this forward position and deny any further expansions while we see KJH taking his natural, although no expansion yet for Spider, who does really have the uh, resources now, I'd expect to see uh, the expansion go down as we are seeing finally the saving up for the expansion, so both teams realizing that they're going to have to buckle up for the long haul as they take their expansions and transition into a looking like a, a longer game here. Yeah, well, I I think uh, the spider with the with the bit of a slower expansion there could cost them.